So as we visit with you, we want to explain to you that you are the creator of your own reality. And we for a while said to you that you want to be the deliberate creator. We called this body of work, the science of deliberate creation, because we wanted you to care about your vibration and care about the projection of your thoughts. And most of all, care about the way you were feeling so that you could guide your thoughts into ways that are productive for you. And by productive, we don't just mean productive so it will produce stuff you want. We mean productive so that you can feel glorious in every moment. Produ productive so that you can be living the joyful life that you came here to live and then you humans are so diligent in your determination that you made the science of deliberate creation harder work than it needed to be we watched you you were monitoring your thoughts and making yourself and others crazy you would find yourself saying something that you knew was not beneficial because of the way it felt and then you would try to suck it back before law of attraction took hold of it and made it bigger but even a sucking it back law of attraction is still responding to what you've got your attention on because in this attraction based universe there's no such thing as no you can't look at something and say no without being a vibrational match to the very thing you're saying no about so now we are calling this the art of allowing the art of allowing what the art of you will be you the art of me in my physical form me in my physical body the art of me finding a way of seeing the world or seeing the piece of the world that I'm focused on in this moment in a way that is like the way my inner being sees it so that I can receive that broader perspective in this moment the leverage that you receive the energy that creates worlds at your fingertips it's such an advantage to you when you sync up with that with that signal so when we talk about being in the receiving mode that's what we're talking about now of course if you're awake you're turned on which means your receiving mode is on the question is what's it tuned to what's it tuned to are you tuned to the frequency of who you really are or are you tuned to something that you're watching on television or something that is rampant in your environment globally or locally so once you remember the premise of who you are once you remember that there are two aspects of you that are pulsing at all times and that the relationship between those two aspects is so important to you because your emotional balance is at stake that because you are such a lover unless you are finding things to love you feel off and that's confusing to so many humans because as you scour the world you've come to weigh the pros and the cons and the pluses and the minuses you've come to believe that you have to observe and be objective in order to even know what you want and to a certain degree that is accurate because if you don't have the ability to evaluate then you can't conclude that's really what step one is ask and asking comes from that evaluation but once you have seen and once you've come to a conclusion of what you prefer then if you could use all of the attention gathering self-discipline that you could find to focus in the direction of what feels good to you what you would begin to notice is that you've asked and it has been answered it has been given it's already gathered and collected in your vibrational reality in your vortex but you've got to tune your receiver to what's there not to what's out here not to the problem that caused you to ask but to the solution that you're looking for and when you become more solution oriented rather than problem defensive justified oriented then what begins to happen is you more consistently are in that vibrational frequency that equals your receiving mode which means you in your human physical form and you in your non-physical evolving form are holding in that moment a vibrational equivalency in other words your frequencies match up which means what your inner being knows that's being projected to you on your behalf you can know too because you're in the receiving mode so under those conditions your inner being would not say to you as we were suggesting that you say to your disconnected human friends your inner being would say to you we know 
where you stand in relationship to everything that you want and we are broadcasting a continual stream that you can receive in the form of impulses clear pure thought when you begin following the impulse of your bliss when you begin following the impulse of your joy when you begin following what feels best to you and you don't second guess yourself you don't judge yourself you don't try to evaluate it to death instead you just follow that feeling of bliss and then you have the benefit of witnessing outcome after outcome after outcome after outcome then you are a deliberate creator now there's one thing that we really want you to hear we're going to say this briefly and then we'll open it for discussion with you about whatever you want to talk about this receiving mode is a subtle receiving you have to tune yourself you have to quiet your mind enough that there are not other things that are in the way and we'll talk about that as we move forward today easy ways to do that but so when you tune yourself to this subtle frequency so you begin hearing and feeling these impulses these impulses are not going to lead you immediately to the manifested reality that you want for a variety of reasons one is you really don't want to go directly there you think you do but you don't you don't want to go directly there what you want is this wonderful unfolding path that you get to witness as what you're wanting it would be like a sculptor saying I'm going to create a magnificent sculpture give me the clay and then just throwing it down and saying there that's exactly what I was going for <laughs> that's exactly what I had in mind because that isn't what you had in mind you want to get your intentionality in it you want the fun of it becoming what you are intending for it to be so the receiving mode once you're in that receiving mode once you've achieved that vibrational alignment with who you really are and once there is a mutual vibration your vibration and the vibration of your inner being are the same what happens is you'll receive an impulse or an idea that won't take you all the way to what you might want to call the finish line of this particular creation it's just you being more ready than you were before you received that and in that readiness that new readiness that just happened to you in that new readiness that just happened to you now new other wonderful things can happen too and then more and then more and then more so we say you're ready to be ready to be ready to be ready to be ready and the reason that we really want you to get this is because there are always going to be we'll pause for dramatic effect <laughs> there are always going to be many many more of your creations in the process of becoming than are becoming right now in other words a steady stream of them in the pipeline and if you have oriented yourself to only let yourself be happy once they manifest then you're mostly going to be unhappy because every day you're going to figure out something more that you want and every day that more thing that you want will have not come to physical fruition so you've got to be joyful in the becoming you've got to be joyful in the allowing you've got to be joyful in the asking you've got to be joyful in the problem stage you've got to be joyful in the not knowing the answer you've got to understand that the system is I don't like this I prefer this and I have no way of getting to this suddenly and then the fun begins because once you know that you want it your inner being wants it too and when your inner being wants what you want here's the key your inner being knows how to get it your inner being knows where it's gonna come from who's gonna bring it what the likely unfolding of it is your inner being knows all of that but you often can't hear that from your inner being because your inner being doesn't talk to you like humans do who say go over there your inner being is offering you the impulse so that you can have the pleasure of what you call self-discovery you see what we're getting at so if you heard us you now know everything that you'll ever need to know <laughs> about creating anything that you'll ever want if you want it it's underway and your inner being knows the path of least resistance to lead you to it oh path of least resistance what's path of least resistance that's the path that your inner being knows to help 
guide you around your hang-ups because the resistance that's on your path you put there with your beliefs but your inner being doesn't say okay we've got it we know what you want and you go clear your path and then we'll show you the way because your inner being knows you're not gonna clear your path you're not gonna change all your beliefs at once those lobotomies are hard to get <laughs> instead you're gonna vibrate pretty much like you have been and your inner being is gonna show you around your hang-ups until after a while you'll have more faith and belief in your ability to receive and know and as that trust becomes stronger trust in yourself trust in the process then many of those hang-ups those resistances along your path will begin to evaporate and then it's really fun then almost as fast as you identify you want something the progress of it begins Esther says it's almost like magic she knows it isn't magic but she can feel when she's in one of those modes where she's in such the receptive mode that if she just follows her impulses not only is it going to be a wonderful day but it's going to be full of delight and surprise about things that are important to her and that's what we wish for you not to get you to the ending places but because it's so fun along the way because really friends there are no ending places because it's just an eternal new group of things that you desire that are going to keep moving you forward in this joyful unfolding you're following yes. we are really eager to talk with you about what matters to you what do you want to talk about don't worry about us we will wedge our message in the crack all right so how we find you is when your desire and your belief are in the approximate vicinity you look different to us vibrationally if there's a desire that you're far from then you don't light up quite in the same way in fact you don't light up at all